I'm creating this video today because I'd like to address my concerns about the possibility that we are on the brink of ushering in the global agenda set out in the UN's Agenda 2030. I've pointed out in previous YouTube videos that I believe that the Yellow Jackets protests were not organic and they were set up for specific dates for specific reasons. And I have that information on my website at Annie Logical and Centre for those who wish to go and read that article. For all the es esoteric links to the events, I suggest that you check out my article. We've got to look at the facts and use our common sense. And I'm, not, I'm in no way opposed uh, to the ethics of protest. In fact, I've single-handedly protested in my own area on many issues that I've felt needed to be spoken about. And I've always known that it was to bring public awareness. The Yellow Jacket protest is completely by UN design. And although I'm in total agreement with those who do protest and the sentiment that the system is totally corrupt and needs to be changed, I can also see that these protests protests are going to be used against the people in a very short time. The first thing I'd like to point out is the media involvement. Pushing the protests for all they're worth and claiming that 23 countries have taken up the protests. Even when it was merely a handful of people, it was reported. This can only mean one thing, that the UN and the governments want this to take off. And when the BBC is involved in reporting this movement, you can bet your bottom dollar that this is for a reason. The same BBC who ignored other high profile protests such as the massive poll tax uh, protests until they were forced into a corner and attacked, then they reported it. Or the 100,000 strong anti-Monsanto protests given no coverage at all and same as the massive anti-war protests before they invaded Iraq. Pictures showing police disguised as protesters in France who kickstart violence and then the retreat under the police protection have been shown on YouTube and have been quickly removed. And at the same time, they allow cars to burn and turn water cannons on the public. It proves how orchestrated this whole event is. 22 of the 23 countries reported to be... Um, uh, included are, mem are members of the UN or NATO apart from one country which is Taiwan which had the biggest protest but was organised by a tax reform group formed in 2016. Now there's no mention by the media of um, protests that are held by countries that are not involved in the Yellow Jackets protest like in Kosovo, thousands held protests during the same period and they're not a member of the UN or NATO and this was never reported because it wasn't a yellow vest protest. And Northern Cyprus is also a non-UN member. Uh, they've also been experiencing civil unrest before and during this event. But that never, get, that never got a mention in the media either because it's not part of this movement. If you look at the article on my website at Anilogical Uncensored, you will see evidence that Paris held meetings with the UN delegates, banks, government officials and the petrol giants just prior to the protests under the Urban Mobility Transport Initiatives, which is part of the Smart City Agenda. The whole of the movement in France is connected to the roads and the infrastructure, with toll booths being destroyed and pavements being dug up. All of these things which will be required to occur to bring in the smart city agenda and the introduction of the new road structures for the smart cars. If you go to the World Economic Forum on this website I'm showing you, You'll see a video that informs us how the smart roads will work, telling us that toll booths will no longer be necessary when they have the smart city roads. And this is how the pavements will look. Now, this is why things like this are allowed to happen, okay? Because they're actually helping them to remove the old infrastructure for them to build the new infrastructure. They're getting the people to do it for them. There'll be no need for speed cameras and toll stations. That's why they've allowed for two thirds of the country's cameras to be destroyed. You're doing the job for them, folks. When have you ever seen protesters going along and uh, pounding away at the pavements with a hammer? Of course, it's nothing at all to do with the fact that they're going to have to take all the pavements up to build the new smart city agenda.
no, no, nothing at all to do with that, folks. Just a coincidence. Once the protesters, egged on by the page agents, help to smash up the infrastructure, they can bring in PESCO, which is the UN troops, which has been initiated by Macron. Uh, they can bring in the globalist agenda. They can start building their new smart cities and roads. One day the penny will drop, folks. Sadly, it will be too late. I'm Annie Logical. Thank you for listening.